Welcome back to CC Combos, and today we're going to be talking about how to get rid of fungus gnats as well as prevent them. Pests can make the hobby of growing plants just not as fun and more stressful, and honestly, caring for plants should be a way to relieve stress. This plant behind me was actually my first plant, and I have chopped it since I've got it. It used to be taller than me, so probably five eight or something like five feet eight or maybe even six feet is how tall it was before I chopped it and I actually have a video on this channel of what it was before and after so now it's growing in here a little bit more manageable but when I first had it I did have a fungus gnat problem now for about five years knock on wood I have not had any fungus gnat so I'm going to share with you the tips and the tricks and the things that I use to prevent them. So what are fungus gnats? Fungus gnats are those little things that are, keep flying around your plants. When you go near them, they might fly up towards your face or you'll see them on top of the soil or just in the area around your plants. They can be very annoying. The larva that lives in the soil can also feed on the young roots of the plant. Let's talk about some ways that we can get fungus gnats. So sometimes when you buy the bags of soil in the grocery store or at your local garden center, they can be very saturated. The bags can be full of like wet soil and that wet and moist soil actually harbors great conditions for these gnats to grow and their larva to live within. You can also bring these pesty little pests into your house by just buying a plant that is infested and you just didn't know it. Or if you water your plants a little too much, where you're not letting the first like one to two inches or to this part of your finger, that top part of the soil dry out, then it could be staying too moist, which is just perfect um, conditions for the gnats to grow. Now that we know what fungus gnats are and how you can get them, let's talk about how we can get rid of them. So the most important way that I think to get rid of fungus gnats would just be to repot all the plants that you suspect have fungus gnats. So even plants that are near ones that you think are, I would just go ahead and repot them all just so that you can be safe. That would be a very quick way to just get rid of gnats altogether. First off, I would sanitize the pot that you'd be placing it in. And when you take it out of the soil, kind of sit the roots in a solution of one part hydrogen peroxide 3% hydrogen peroxide is what it says on the label, and then two parts water. So one part hydrogen peroxide to two parts water, and then you just let the roots sit in that solution while you make a new fresh batch of soil. So when it comes to repotting our plant, we have to think about the soil. So a good way to help get rid of those fungus gnats is to allow the soil to dry out a little faster or to aerate the soil. So we want to add some things that increase the aeration of our soil, such as perlite, pumice stone, or orchid bark. Then to help the soil dry out, like the first two inches like we talked about previously, is we want to keep a ceiling fan or some sort of fan on throughout the day so that the air can circulate. Sometimes parts of our house, they don't circulate the air, it, like the air just doesn't circulate that well. And so you might notice that on the top of the soil, you'll get like a little bit of mold. And if that's the case, it's staying too moist on the top. So we need to have some sort of circulation and just turning on some sort of ceiling fan or fan will fix that issue. Okay, so now we have sanitized our plants. We have repotted all the ones that are near the infested area or where we see a bunch of fungus gnats flying around. Now we can talk about how to prevent them so that they don't come back. You could place a small layer of rocks on the top of your soil, so some sort of soil dressing, or you could just mix in those more aerated soil mediums like orchid bark, or perlite or pumice stone. Also buy a potting mix that is less prone to gnats. So actually I'll list it here. This is the plant mix that I use and it says on the box or on the bag that it is less prone to gnats. Now when it comes to watering, we wanna make sure that we stick our finger in it and I wouldn't water if it is wet from this part of your knuckle down. If it is wet, 
I would not water. I would wait till it feels completely dry in that one to two inch area before you water it. And when you water, water thoroughly where the water drains out. We can also place some vinegar traps with red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar and soap and place these around our pots or in our water saucers. Or you could sprinkle some cayenne pepper on the top of your soil. So this is just where I put the trap. I just place it in that saucer and it just stays there. You can sprinkle cayenne pepper on the top of your soil. And I honestly like to do this to prevent my cats from digging in there as well. And lastly, I would spray your plants regularly with neem oil. So I spray my plants almost weekly, if not every other week with neem. So I spray the leaves with neem, I'll spray the base of the plants as well as the soil. And I do this as just a preventative way to prevent any sort of pest from coming on my plants. And it can actually kill fungus gnats as well. Neem oil also adds a very nice shine to your leaves I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got some tips on how to get rid of fungus gnats or to prevent them. And if you have any tips that you use that I don't know of yet, please leave them down below so that we can share some tips together.